respira hondo. Just a few weeks after her pioneering operation and Claudia Castillo is able to breathe normally once more. The new airway that surgeons transplanted into her lungs is working well and because it was built in a lab using her own stem cells, it won't be rejected by her body. Bueno, pues ahora estoy mucho mejor después de la operación. I'm much better now after the operation. It's a long process, but four months after they operated on me, I'm much better. I'm fine now. Tuberculosis had caused the airway to Claudia's left lung to collapse. So, in a world first, doctors used tissue engineering to make her a new one. They removed the breathing tube from a dead woman and used chemicals to strip away the cells that would normally cause rejection after transplantation. They then used stem cells from Claudia's hip, lungs and nose to create cartilage and other specialized cells. These were then used to coat the breathing tube. Surgeons then cut the airway to size and in June they implanted it into Claudia. The state of Claudia is excellent. She's uh, enjoying her la life. She has returned to, uh, um, to be mother. As long as she stay in this uh, health, um, I will be the most happiest uh, doctor in the world. Bristol scientists played a key role in the breakthrough, growing the six million cells used to coat Claudia's new airway. The technique, published in the Lancet Medical Journal, could one day become routinely used. Scientists predict that this is the start of a new era of body organs that had grown to order using patients' own stem cells and then transplanted without risk of rejection. And they hope to follow up this success by building a new larynx or voice box within five years. And after that, there could be new bladders, bowels, and even hearts engineered in the lab. Two more patients are already lined up for a tissue-engineered airway transplant. Eventually, 3,000 a year could benefit across Europe, giving back quality of life to people like Claudia. Thomas Moore, Sky News.